just a second. All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, want to start off by giving all praise uh, to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, I'm joined by Brother uh, Dasan. Shalom, Shalom, you know. Right, right. We just wanted to, you know, just do a little, you know, video, you know, going over, you know, some stuff. You know, first we wanted to address, you know, mine of God, because I was talking with the brother, you know, before the show. Brother asked about mine of God, but I, I, I will mention mine of God real quick. Mine of God made a statement uh, lately, and he said that Christ is going to return before the year 2022. Let me say that again. He went out on the limb and he made a statement. He said that Christ is going to return this year. And that's that's crazy, man. That's crazy to sit there and to, to make a statement like that, saying that you know that the Lord is going to return this year. So that's why I, I always say to brothers that you got to be, you know, you have to have caution. Okay, you know, you have to examine, examine these, um, you know, these teachers out here, man, because the mind of God's, you know, leading a lot of people astray. Right, so, you know, anyway, you know, going into the topic we wanted to speak about, right, a changing of, of the world, right, and that's what we're seeing right now. This is why, you know, you have all of these earthquakes going on, you know, all of these, all these volcanic eruptions, right, these uproars yeah. of the people. This is all signs, you know, that Yahweh Shai is, um, is about to return. And then if you go to, uh, what is that, uh, 2 Ezra uh, chapter 6 and verse 9, it says what? That Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, right? So right now we're in the, the changing of kingdoms, right? A changing of seasons, for lack of better words, right? This man's going down and we're coming up. Desan, you want to add anything into that? Rags to riches. <laughs> Just kidding. No, um, uh, yeah, you know, that's very, very so much true. You know, uh, this devil, you know, he's been on top for like the longest now, you know, and it, it's just time for, you know, uh, the, the Israelites, you know, uh, the elect, you know, us to come up now, you know. Uh, hopefully I'm not speaking too much out of you know, out of pocket, but, you know, uh, oh, it's all, it's all through the spirit, right? It's all through the spirit, but absolutely, you know, we, we can definitely see, you know, what's going on, right? As we said, right, it's a change of seasons right now, right? It's a change of times, right? We're at the end of the, the reign of this, of this madman, right? This man has just, this man has ruined the earth, man. I mean, hell, you have, um, you know, animals such as whales or, or, you know, dolphins and, you know, fish, you know, they're, they're beaching themselves, right? They're, they're committing suicide. Certain animals are, man. Yeah, yeah, there's certain animals that are just beaching themselves, right? They're jumping out of the water to land on, on, uh, on the land and, and to uh, die, you know, from, uh... Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's getting serious out here, man, that even the animals, you know, can't take this stuff anymore, right? So it's just, this man's done too much, man, right? This, this devil has just, this, this man has to go, right? He's just destroyed the earth, right? In every aspect, right? Every aspect of the world, you know, this man has just completely mm -hmm. messed it up. You want to mm -hmm. add anything in? Yeah, you know, um, just, just to hear that, like, dang, like, you know, I I knew things were getting bad, but I didn't know, like, animals were, like, committing suicide and stuff like that, dang, like, that's my boy, like, dang. Like when I think of that, I just think of a, a deer just ramming his head in the wall or something like, ah! like you know, like you know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, man, you know it's definitely. Like, hey. uh, yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. You know it's definitely, um, you know, sad what we see going on right now, man. Yeah. You yeah, know, definitely. but but hey, you know this all has to happen, right? All of this has to happen because mm -hmm. what we're seeing right now, going back to what we were saying. As this is literally the end of the world, right? We're living at the end of this age, right? Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is about to return and to redeem his elect. Oh, and by the way, we got to also talk about this for a minute. You know, you, you have guys out here like Mine of God or, or, you know, these Christian churches. You know, they're out there telling the people that they don't have to go through any type of trouble, right? They don't have to go through the Great Tribulation, right? They're telling the people to just, hey, look, Christ could return tomorrow and to save everybody, right? Everybody's going to be saved before, 
you know, the Jacob's trouble comes. That's not true, right? So we're telling the brothers out there that, hey, look, you, you better get ready to have to go through some things, okay? Because we're all going to be tried, right? We're all going to be tried in the, in the hour of temptation, right? Which is coming upon the entire world, right? So, you know, don't believe these, you know, false teachers out here that are leading, you know, the people astray by telling them that they're going to receive salvation before the um the time of the tribulation that's not true all right we're all going to have to go through that time period all right so you know we just have to be you know building each other up in this thing right in this faith of ours you know to continue to you know endure through these hardships that we're going to have to face in the near future Desan, you want to add anything in uh yeah um i'll just say uh uh you know, like, uh, uh, I just got this from, you know, ETG, you know, Sean. Um, break out your faith with, you know, break out your salvation with fear and trembling, right? Yes. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, faith without, you know, works is dead, you know, so, you know, it's important to put the works in along with your faith and build it up through the spirit and allow yourself to grow, you know, and stuff like that. to, you know, do your best and to, you know, be on fire, be, you know, for this thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely, man. You know, we're we're in the time right now, you know, where we got to, uh, you know, we got to take this thing seriously. We, All right, and, this, we, and that goes, have, go ahead. I was going to say, we have to be drenched in the scriptures, you know, have the drippers dripping on us, you know. Yeah, Not yeah, like I that. mean... You know, the scriptures the scriptures say that, um, you know, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times, right? So what that means is, you know, you, you got to, you know, to the best of your ability, you know, memorize the scriptures. Right now, as I was saying, you know, with, with the brother before we started the video that, you know, some brothers, their lot is, you know, not to know a whole lot. But some brothers might know a lot about history, but they might not know a lot about the scriptures and vice versa. Right? Everybody has their own lots in this, and that's in a... Uh, can read about that in uh what is that uh romans the, i want to say the 12th chapter all right that not every man is going to have the same ability you know in this truth okay so we all you know just gotta you know be able to cope with the knowledge that we've been given okay and to the best of our abilities you know uplift you know yahweh and the son yahweh shai you know to the best of our abilities you know and that's what we're doing okay you know me and me and uh, this brother here the son you know we're taking time out of our day to make a video, you know, well, I mean, hell, we could be, you know, out drinking, we could be out playing video games, we could be out working, we could be out doing anything, right, playing golf, just like mine of God, you know, but no, we're going to take our time out of our day to do a lesson, you know, to edify the, you know, the other brothers out there. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, uh, you know, you, you like, I gotta always remember, I gotta always remember this too, you know, because this goes for me as well. I gotta remember, but for us, you know, we gotta remember that, you know, like, yeah, I was shy, you know, like, you know, he died for us, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, just thinking about him, you know, dying on the cross and stuff like that, you know, you just gotta, you know, just think about it and just like, damn, he died on the cross for us, you know, the Israelites. So it's like, you know, you gotta put your, you know, your best efforts are best put forward in terms of like putting in the work and, doing that at least for him or you know to the best of your abilities you know at least do something for him like make a video or or preach outside or or just be in the scriptures or just you know prayer or just you know just be in the ministry the best as you can and do it for the lord and yahweh shy you know that's what we what we can do at least you know stuff like that you know? right right absolutely man you know, and as I said, you know, to the best of our ability, you know, not all of us are going to, you know, be as well off as other brothers, right? We're, we're not all going to be able to do the same, you know, talents in this truth, right? Not all of us can teach on the highways and byways. Not all of us were given the, the spirit to teach, you know, but it just, um, you know, it depends. Whatever was given unto you, you know, just fulfill that lot, right, to the best of your ability, all right? Some brothers can't do videos every day. Some brothers can do a video a day. Some brothers might have to go a couple days without doing a video. But hey, you know, you just got to do what you can to the best of your ability. And the Lord will honor your, um, you know, your work, right? The Lord will honor, you know, the time that you take out of your day to, uh, 
you know, put towards the ministry. Okay, and you look at these Christians, man, there's Christians out here who, uh, who have never even read a book of the Bible before. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know, we're, we're all on the right path, man. All right, we're all on the right path here. Okay, you know, us compared to, you know, these other, you know, denominations out here and these other, you know, Israelite groups that are, you know, teaching these other false doctrines, man. You know, hey, look, we're on the, the right path here. Okay, so, hey, just like um, the Apostles of Great Millstone say sometimes, it's like, hey, look, if we're not, if we're not the elect, well, who is, right? I mean, who else is, is um, you know, doing the work of the Most High to the best of their ability? These Christians sure ain't, sure ain't doing it, right? So somebody has to be of the elect, right? So, of course, at the end of the day, you know, we don't know who is and who is not saved, but, hey, we, we damn sure have a, um, a, a good chance of being those men. Desan, you want to add anything in? Uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, I'll say, like, you know, um, yeah, like, you know, you know, just do the best you can and everything else, and, you know, it, it, like, everything should be, you know, added on to you in terms of, you know, like, if you're not, you know, uh, consi like, as consistent, you know, just pray for, cause just ask the Lord to, and pray, and ask him, ask him if you can help him. You know, just pray for being consistent, you know. Ask them, hey, Lord, can you help me be consistent? Can you help me be more, like, focused or anything like that? You know, just ask the Lord and ask the Lord, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And, you know, just, just ask them, you know. You know, as a topic, you know, just ask them. Right, you know, right. You know? Absolutely, man. You know, absolutely. And, you know, especially, you know, the times that we're coming into now, man. You know, hey, look, you know, we're, we're coming into some, some trying times here, man. I mean, hell, this place, Babylon, the great America, this place is done, man. Right? This place, I mean, any day this place could literally collapse, man. Okay, we're coming into the winter, you know, very soon here, right? We're coming into some, uh, you know, literal cold times, right? So nobody knows what the hell is about to happen, right? Really, the whole world is watching right now because nobody knows what to expect. Right. But we're out here. What we're prophesying, you know, to the people, you know, the things which are shortly coming. And we're telling you what? Hey, look, things are not going to get any better. OK, things are just going to continue to go down the tube. Why? Because that's the prophecy. All right. The prophecies and of the scriptures are being fulfilled right now. OK, so, hey, you know, you got guys out there, you know, who can't see it. Then, hey, look, then it, it, they can't see it. It says in the book of Corinthians, first Corinthians, it says that, um, you know, it's it's given to a spiritual man to see the spiritual things, but the carnal man, they cannot see it. Right, and that's why the scriptures say, you know, blessed are they who have eyes to see and ears to hear, right? But the rest of the people, you know, even though they have physical ears and physical eyes, they can't see what's going on around them, right? But we, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh and the son Yahweh Shai, you know, we can, you know, see what's going on. Why? Because we have those spiritual eyes that we can see right we can see all the things that are happening and line it up with the prophecies decide you want to add anything in uh yeah um you know i'll say this like you know uh you know can, can we say the e word or whatever uh just just say e e okay so e you know uh you know he, 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 he's known for being like you know very proud and all that right Right. Um, and, you know, he thinks his, you know, kingdom is going to last, you know, and stuff like that. It's going to go on for a certain amount of time, but, you know, you know, it's not the case. You know, the Lord's going to, you know, swoop in when, you know, you think he has it and then, and then pay, you know, and then, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the scriptures say what? The, I have uh, beheld Satan as lightning falls from heaven, right? And that's talking about, you know, this place going down, man, right? This is, this is going to happen quickly. Right, this place, you know, Babylon, is clearly going to fall down quickly, man, and you see it. I mean, hell, man, you know, if we just look back a couple years ago and then look at what's going on now, man, I mean, it just took that little amount of time to have everything literally out of course, right? It just, there's so much that's going on right now, man, that it's just, it's evident, you know, what's going on, right? At what other time, what other year, you know, prior to the last two years, we're literally, you know, um such chaos going on in the world, literally, you have, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like you have earthquakes going on, right? There's volcanic activity, all right? It's just there's so much that's happening right now. And these are clearly the times, you know, that the prophets before, you know, spoke to us about. You know, so now we're seeing these things, you know, we shouldn't be, you know, getting afraid, right? Because even though bad times are coming, you know, we should really be um, joyful, right? Because we know that salvation is near as well, right? We know that we'll have to go through this time of hardship, of course. But with that being said, you know, salvation is very near. And, and that means what? That the kingdom is very near, right? Our rest is very near. Okay, so we just have to continue to keep pushing this truth, you know, for out, you know, the, the time that we have left. Okay, because clearly, you know, the curtains are coming to a close, so to speak, right? Very soon, you know, you're going to have a famine of the word. Right. You know, you're not going to be able to go on YouTube forever and, you know, watch, you know, GMS videos, you know, Sakura videos, ETT videos. You're not going to be able to watch any of those videos. Right. Economic videos. Right. Jason A's videos. Just throw a couple guys out there. You know, you're not going to be able to look up these guys very soon and learn about, you know, what's really going on in the world. Right. But, you know, right now, while we have that, you know, available to us, you know, we got to take advantage of that. OK, because very soon. You know, that's going to be taken away, right? The famine of the word is going to very soon hit. So anyway, decide you want to throw anything in there? Uh, uh yeah, I'll tell you, um, uh, yeah, so it's important to, you know, like EGT said, you know, take advantage of stuff like that, especially the times you're in, you know, stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, and even though, you know, for some of us, you know, you may want to watch a little, watch a little side stuff here, you know, just, just have your main focus, you know. I think that's the flesh kicking it, right? When you just watch side stuff or little stuff, whatever, I'm sorry. But, right. But, uh, I said, yeah, yeah, man, absolutely. You know, um, but yeah, you know, we, we just want to, you know, to, to say, brothers, that, you know, you know, in the yeah. times that we're in right now, you know, we definitely just have to, you know, okay. remain faithful, you know, and, and keep, you yeah. know, studying, you know, keep teaching. Because, you know, what we've been telling you, the people for years, right, you can clearly see it happening. Because, you know, five years ago, people could just walk by the camp and say, oh, you guys are crazy, you know, that stuff's never going to happen. I mean, well, hell, who, who's laughing now? Now the things that, you know, the Apostles of Great Millstone were out there teaching the people, you know, and all the other brothers, you know, for, for years and years and years, now you're seeing those things happen literally every day, right? Every day there's riots going on, earthquakes going on, you know. I mean, hell, there's a pestilence going on right now, you know. So it just shows you, man, that we're clearly in those times that Yahawashai, you know, uh, told us about. So anyway, brothers, we just want to, you know, give you brothers some encouragement, you know, coming into the times that we're in, okay? And if you go to, what is that, Matthew, I, I believe it's John, the 16th chapter, right? Christ said, you know, in the world, you're going to have trials, right? You're going to have tribulation and troubles, but I have overcome the world, right? So in me, you're going to have peace, but in the world, you're going to have tribulation, right? So we just have to trust in Yahawashai that even though we're going to go for a certain, you know, adversities, you know, in, in the flesh, right, in the world, you know, we just have to put our, our trust in Yahweh and the son Yahawashai, right? To hope that we are able to, um, you know, receive salvation. The son, you want to Say anything else before we end the lesson? Uh, yeah, I'll just say, um, you know, uh, just stay focused. Um, you know, just stay focused. Um, you know, just focus on the word, you know, and stuff like that, and just do it into the end, you know? But, you know. Right, right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So as I said, brothers, you know, just, uh, you know, take that little motivation, right? Because we're definitely in, you know, a changing of the seasons, right? The changing, the, the changing of the seasons is near, meaning what? That, you know, this man, E, right, the ruler of the world right now, he's clearly going out and our season of rulership is coming. If you go to, uh, what is that? I want to say uh, Second Ezra is the fourth chapter. It says, what? How can the thing that is sown of good come if the thing that does not, that thing that's not, um, good right the evil how can the good thing come if the thing that's evil does not first have his time to rule right so right now we're in the thing the time where the thing that's evil is ruling but very soon his time is going to be taken away and the thing which is good which is the kingdom of heaven is going to have its its eternal time to rule 
So anyway, brothers, we just wanted to do that little video for you. And uh, of course, we're going to end off by giving all praises uh, to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Sure. And uh, we're going to say Shalom.